everybody, Brenna Red Beast here from Concord Gallant Protein. Going over some of our obstacles here on course. This is our boardwalk. Um, as you can see, it looks like a simple balance beam. It's a balance beam, can't describe it as anything else, but it's not very simple. Um, they all wobble, and the best part is you think you're like all the way through it, and then at the very end is where it starts getting really wobbly. So in my opinion, slower is better. The faster you go, you just get it kind of like discombobulated and you're at the end of the race and your heart rate is pumping so I say slow and steady wins the race um, you want to keep your feet forward again I have boots here so I'm gonna give it a try but it starts wobbling in the center because obviously you don't have the points of contact on each end so if you can make it towards the end leap you want to start on one platform and you have to touch the other platform and get across before you complete the obstacle you also have to stay and maintain your lane so once you commit to a lane if you're running the leap wave that is the lane you start with, that's the lane you finish with. If you jump lanes, you're going to have to redo it again if you're wanting to keep your belt or continue for a prize convention. So, here's the boardwalk. Again, slow and steady. I like to look just a little ahead of my feet. You want to look directly down and you don't want to look straight up because then you don't know what you're doing. Use your arms, same, all balance techniques, core, arms, and just watch where you're going. Slow and steady, one foot in front of the other. And you notice it's picked up the wobble. So I got my arms to counterbalance. Tightening my core, looking at the end. You want to make sure you finish completely. Don't get too ahead of yourself. But that is how you conquer boardwalk.